Skills major is more of a program that combines certain courses together. So it, uh, it asks for students to focus in one area. And then it also asks them to gain some work experience through co-op. And all together as a package, it's called a specialist high skills major. So it's a focus on a, on a certain, um, I guess, program or subject program. For health and wellness, it's very broad. You could do courses in phys ed, social sciences, or sciences, okay? And students can mix and match. They don't only have to focus in on one area, but the whole point of health and wellness is to show students that it's not just science. And it can also be social science, and it can also be phys ed. So we allow them to take up to five courses in anything they want, as long as it's either a science, a social science, or a phys ed. out of being in health and wellness is when you graduate you get a red seal on your certificate and it looks really good for university applications if you're going into the health field. Um, something else you get out of being in health and wellness is you also get to choose a co-op and you can do four credit co-op, two credit co-op or dual credit co-op. Chisholm has helped me in a lot of ways because of um, the extra things that they require for us to do. For example, the expected me to take co-op and because of co-op I know what I want to do today and uh, which is being a teacher. Special about it is it's not just the courses itself, we also do a lot of skills training. So we do things like CPR, first aid, we have speakers come in, we go on trips, really fun trips. Um, so it's a combination of many different things where other students might not get those experiences, a specialist high skills major student would. students coming in in grade 10 or 11 okay and you just need to let me know that you're interested and I need to kind of take a look at your classes of what you're planning on doing next year to make sure you're on the right path okay and then once they've signed up through me then I'm the one that's going to be contacting them about all the training stuff and all the trips that we do and presenters coming in so I mean I'll let them know about all that stuff but I just need to know that they're interested <laughs>